Hey guys, Steb here and today we are going to be making a free roam Five Nights at Freddy's game. Now, um, I'm going to be remaking the last tutorial because in my opinion it's very garbage and bad quality. So uh, today I'm going to be reworking the tutorial. Um, so first of all, I'm in my uh, Unreal Engine right here. This is uh, what appears when you launch Unreal Engine from the Epic Games menu, right? So first of all, what we want to do is go games. Yes. So uh, this is going to show us select template. Now uh, s some people may use the first person, but in my opinion, this is um, I don't like uh, the gun being there because uh, this uh, we would have to remove the gun, and I don't think we want to do that. So I'm just going to do third person. Okay. Now, um, we want blueprint, um, we want maximum quality, we want starter content, we don't have to use starter content, but I'm going to use starter content. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to use starter content and we want for desktop. So I'm going to call this uh, free roam FNAF 2022. Okay, so I'm going to create project and hopefully this doesn't Okay, so uh, we are in the project now uh, First of all, what we want to do is make our character first person because as you can see we are third person and we do not want to make a third person FNAF game, so we want to go right over here. We got the third person blueprint. We're gonna open that we're gonna open uh, the blueprint folder and right now, right here, we can see our third person character. Now this is basically our player. Um, so we're gonna open this by just double clicking. We're gonna drag it over here so we can switch between the, these two windows. And right over here, this is our blueprint of our character. Now all of this, you don't have to worry about this, this is just movement, okay? This is already set up and we do not have to worry about this. So what we want to go to is our viewport, right? So over here we can see our player and how everything is set up. Okay, we can see our mesh and yeah, everything. So um, what we want to do is to drag this solo camera um, in the mesh and delete camera boom oh maybe maybe not in the mesh maybe just somewhere right maybe just anywhere and um, just drag it over here so it's uh, at his face we're gonna check over here use pawn control rotation okay this means that it will look uh, this it will rotate if we move the mouse so if we move the mouse right it will rotate so we're gonna check use spawn control rotation. Now, what we also need to do is go to our third person character self over here. And here we want use control rotation yaw. This means that the whole character will rotate towards the camera, right? So this means the camera will rotate where we look. And this means the player, well, the whole thing will rotate where we look, okay? So now if we press play, we can look around and it looks pretty good. So, um, what next? We want to click on our mesh and we want to just remove it because what we want is just a player, nothing else. Right? So, uh, the next thing we want to do is um, set up our sprinting, right? And crouching. May maybe just. Yeah, yeah, let's do both. So um, what we want to do is go to our settings and to project settings, right? This is the, these are the settings of our project. So this may seem a little confusing, but uh, what we have to do is go over here to input. Now over here we got action mappings and axis mappings. Axis mappings mean movements, like uh, if we move our mouse, and if we WASD, right? 
but we don't need uh, movement so we are going to close this down now we go to action mappings this is when we press a key on our keyboard right so if we press space we jump if you press r we reset the vr right so we're going to click this plus and we're going to uh, instead of this we are going to um, name this sprint and i am going to use left shift now you can use anything you want here but we are going to use left shift also i'm going to add another one and crouch now i'm going to use control and i may also use c no okay if you want to use more keys at once we will you have to click this again and um, yeah i'm going to do it like this you don't have to but i am i want to so yeah so uh another one what we want to do and what we want to, which we need to add is interact now this will let us open doors and such so i'm going to use e we we'll just scroll down and find e and this is how we do it so now we just close this down and save all <coughs> okay so uh, the next thing we want to do is go back to our third person character now over here if we just right click and we type sprint we can already see that sprint appears here okay now um, this is uh, when, when we press sprint, sprint when we press hold down shift and this is when we release shift okay now uh, you see this character movement this is basically a component of our blueprint that uh, sets up all of the speed and uh, how high we jump and such and the only thing we want to change is our max walk speed so we can make a reference to our character movements by just dragging dragging him over here or we can also get character we can also find it right over here it doesn't matter so uh, if we drag out of here we can actually set max walk speed over here and we want to set it when we press shift so when we press shift we want to set max walk speed to one 1200 and we can press ctrl w to duplicate this and on released we also want to change we want to change this back to 600 now both need to be plugged into the target right here because otherwise if we had it like this and we compiled this would show us an error right because we need a target we need to specify what what wants to um, which speed we want to change right whose so this should actually work so let's try this out we walk and we press shift and we sprint and we just release shift and we stop sprinting now um, what we want to do next is um, crouch okay over here crouch now uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just copy, gonna copy and paste, but instead I'm going to ha make this make the player slower. Like this. Now so if we run, we are faster, and we crouch, we are slower. Now um, we want to crouch, and I think we've got our functions. Huh. I think this should work, but I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> let's try it like this. No. Uh, yeah, okay, can crouch. 
Okay, so now we have our crouching set up. I don't think we even need this. Yeah, nice. So, um, we have crouching and sprinting. Nice. Um, so, if we, you didn't see what I did here, I searched crouch in our character movement and I have you have to turn on can crouch um, until unless this will not work um, you can also change how much you will crouch like the height of you when crouching and how fast you are now you can also specify if you can walk off edges I'm going to say yes because um, so you can walk off edges like this or maybe not. It, it's whatever. Okay, you don't you don't have to. It's it's up to you. So right now we have a first person character that can sprint and crouch. And uh, next part we are going to add interacting. So thank you all for watching this tutorial and uh, have a nice day. Bye.